Did you realize you were this lucky when you woke up this morning? My buddy just called me and he says that his fuel tank, this is, is going to be his fuel tank, we're going to do an experiment. He told me that in his diesel truck he put three gallons of gasoline. It's a 35 gallon tank, so that's, you know, like 12 to 1 or something like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little experiment. We're going to fill this up with diesel. This is just low sulfur diesel number two. But we're going to fill this up most of the way with diesel. This is no ethanol. This is the clear 88 ethanol free. I pour just 10%. I'm going to raise the level just a little bit. Out to there. You can see that there's a little bit of haze. It's like when salt water and fresh water come together. If you've ever been to Shell Ha in Cancun, Mexico, you're going to get to the underground rivers. It looks kind of like that. I just want to see if they dissolve and then I want to see what the difference is and just kind of check the lubricity. And my theory is that the gasoline is going to rob this of some lubricity. Oh, you didn't even see that. I poured this uh, full of diesel. Didn't even make a mess. So it's not super slippery. I kind of get the sense of the vibration in the gloves, you know, from the friction. So then I'm going to take some of this and do the same. It's almost exactly the same. It's really not that different. Of course, you get the camera out and start making a video, you're going to have dogs bark or a bagpipe play or something play. If they come down the street, I'm totally going to film them and show you guys. All right, so here's what the bag player looks like going down the street. Check this out, there's a bagpiper just standing on the deck there. Just giving her. Isn't that cool? You can't make this up. So at first they didn't mix very well at all, but as you can see, it's very homogenized. It's all the same. I don't really see it being a real big issue. Lubricity seems to be about the same. Let's, uh, do an experiment, see if the vapors of the gas come off. Maybe if you leave your gas cap off, uh, it'll evaporate out. I wonder if this would have those vapors. The other thing we could do is heat it up and see if we can see it coming off. All right, we've got a Halon fire extinguisher. Everybody be safety. We're gonna pull the lid off and we're gonna see if we've got vapors coming off. If it's just diesel, jet fuel, or kerosene, you can light it in the jar and basically it'll just go like a candle. It doesn't really burn very much. If you have gasoline, uh, it won't explode or anything, but you'll get a lot of fire out of it, you know, without even getting close. With diesel, you have to get that clear down in there and touch it to get it to burn. So this is 10% gasoline. Let's see what it does. See if we've got vapor coming off or if the uh, homogenous mix has caused it to not be as, what's the word? We'll see if the gas mix is giving off vapor or not. Here we go. Here's our flame. That's vapor. That's about what you'd expect from gasoline. So if you leave your gas cap off, whatever gasoline that you put in your diesel tank uh, will vapor or will uh, evaporate. I would not recommend putting a match down your tank though. That's a bad idea. I don't want anybody to infer that lid on and it's out. Go again? Let's do it. Boom, I didn't even have to get into it. What you can see from the top is you can see kind of a separation because there's heat that's being applied as this is burning and it's causing a, a positive flow just like on your furnace how you have an induction fan that gets everything going out the flue first. It's causing that same effect in the jar and actually causing the evaporation of the gas to happen faster. And we're out. I'm going to show you. I'm going to bring you in close. There's a white film that forms on the surface. You guys are lucky. We've got bagpipe music accompaniment. No extra charge. You're welcome. <laughs> Did you realize you were this lucky when you woke up this morning? So we're just going to hold that over the top and the fumes and the vapors coming from the gas they're just burning right off. Like I said you can see a little bit of uh, white stuff on the side. It's almost like a really fine uh, foam or fine bubbles or something to that effect. 
Cool. So, what happened? Well, I asked him a whole bunch of questions. One, did you pull all the fuel out or did you just add to it? He added to it. How many miles have you driven? 60. How's it doing? It's doing great. Other than that, no news. Older diesels I know do a lot better. Thousands of people every year put gasoline in diesel engines. You can't really put the diesel in the gas engines because the diesel spout is bigger. It won't fit. Uh, but vice versa, it happens all the time. So if you do it, don't feel bad. Lots of other, but you're not alone. Uh, however, if you have a lot of gasoline, you put it in a diesel, you won't have the delubricity to have it work effectively. It'll ruin your fuel pump, and you may just have to replace your whole fuel system. Um, diesel in a gas, I, uh, I don't know, older cars, you can get away with it. There's actually a video uh, by Fifth Gear, I believe, and they did some older cars, and they put the wrong kind in each one, ran them until they stalled. Both cars survive just fine, but then I've seen Volkswagens and other vehicles that are diesel that get gasoline put in. It just rips them to crap because they just can't handle because there's such high pressures and such fine, tight tolerances, so they just shrapnel. So anyway, take care when you fill up. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like and subscribe. Bonus footage at the end. There you go. Other side. What? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Good.